Hey, are you kidding me? Jason here. The GANS 356 Air. Is it my main? Kind of. Hey, what's up, guys? Are you kidding me? Unlike my bad Vsauce impression, the GAN 356 Air is an impressive cube. However, it does have its setbacks. After switching to the yellow GES nuts from the clear stock ones, lubing the pieces, tensioning a few more times, and doing nearly 500 solves, I have yet to find a way to get rid of the air's annoying lockups. I find this a problem the most especially when it comes to the last layer. While the GANS is quite amazing when it comes to speed and weight, the Valk 3 does not lock up as much as the GANS 356 Air does. It's a very controllable puzzle when you have the right tensions. If you're lucky enough to not lock up on a solve, it's flawless. It does not pop whatsoever nor does it even corner twist, even with the 500 solves I've done on it. Another positive thing about the Air is that it's very, very quiet, unlike the Vault 3. As you can see, the GANS has an average of 63 decibels, while the Valk 3 has an average of 77 decibels. 77 decibels is equivalent to inside of the car, and 63 decibels is equivalent to a small conversation. To sum up the review and comparison, I did a little experiment. I did 25 solves for both cubes, and it turns out that the GANS locks up a little over 70% of the time. As expected, it has no pops or corner twists. The Valk 3, as you can see, was the opposite. It had one major and one minor pop. It also resulted in one corner twist. So why is the GANS kinda my main? It's for sure going to be my backup main. But I'm almost 90% sure I'll be using the air for the first round at For the Love of Cubing. When I advance to the second round, I'll most definitely be using the Valk 3 to hopefully make it to finals. The Air is a cube I would really recommend to someone, but the cube blocks up a lot, and as you can tell, I don't like that. I feel like if GANs were to fix this issue, and lockups were gone or at least reduced, and the rest of the positive things stayed constant, I think we could potentially have a perfect 3x3. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as last time, U Prime, R Prime.